Hey, Jonathan here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can implement this dashboard in around 10 seconds. And we're going to be able to do this by using some cool little shortcuts. If you're new to this channel and you're keen to learn the latest tips, tricks, and tools for working more effectively with data, please hit the subscribe button for weekly videos. Now, just to take you through a quick overview of this dashboard first. This is a shiny flex dashboard using R. And the cool thing about this is, is that everything is dynamically populated. And just uh, all you need to do is swap it out for your own data set and all of these will automatically dynamically show the content from that. So we have a couple of drop down menus here. This is using the built in Star Wars data set uh, within are, but you can just as easily swap this out for anything you like. So you can see here, I've got Star Wars things like Homeworld in here. This will automatically change the groupings and we can see all the groupings visualized here, um, as well as in this data table down here, which, which is a nice little JavaScript control. So we have all the metrics. So all the numeric fields have automatically been picked out and our list here as different metrics that we can summarize. Um, their summaries have automatically been done um, down here uh, in the data table. And if we pick different ones, they affect the chart as well. A few little customizations which have been done to this data table here. We've got a few buttons so we can like copy our results. We can export it to CSV, PDF, um, we can apply different filters here. So, can add little filters here. You can see that there's pagination. Uh, we've got search fields up the top here, which search across all of the different columns. So, quite a few neat little features that you quite often want to be able to add to a different dashboard that you might want to work with. So, how do we actually go about implementing something like this? Well, let me close this down for a sec. And I'm over here in RStudio. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a completely new blank R file. To do that, I'm going to use the shortcut key, Control Shift N. And this is just a blank R script. Over here, I'm going to type in FDS and hit the tab button. Now we've just had all of this code populated for us. And in a second, I'm going to show you how this is done. And over here, we have the word data highlighted. And before I was using the Star Wars data set, I'm just going to change this to say another built in data set. But obviously, if you're using your own, just use something like read underscore CSV to load in your own data. So over here, let me type in say MPG. I'm going to hit Control Shift K to render this dashboard. I'm going to call this uh, demo.rmd. Now, it's important that um, we rename it as an RMD file, and that's basically what this warning message here is, because I'm renaming it from a .r file to a .rmd file, which is a R markdown file, which is the basis of uh, Flex dashboards. So that's going off and doing this thing there. And as you can see, we have this dashboard all set up using a completely different data set. So here I can um, change this to all the different things here. Change the metrics. Right, and everything here is basically dynamically populated for us. Okay, so how did this actually work? Now, this here is a template that I did put together earlier. Now, if you want, you can actually download a free copy of this. I'm gonna provide a link in the resources below where you can get yourself a copy of this. And I'll show you how to set this up so you can set up a little shortcut to, so that you can just type in say three letters just like I did earlier and have this all automatically populate for you. So there's not really that much that you actually need to do with this. Now, if you're on uh, one of my courses, Shiny Flex Dashboards, 
uh, and interactive data visualizations. This is going to be a new resource that I'm adding to the course. Uh, along with this actual file here as well, I'm gonna have a whole lecture basically discussing this particular template. But to be honest, like the entire course, uh, th if you already signed up to it, basically talks about every single piece of this code that I've implemented here in actually quite a bit of detail already. So, um, if we come up with the tools and we come to global options and we click on code, there's a neat little section here called snippets. So we've got snippets enabled and if we click on edit snippets, we've got all of these different things here. Now you can see that there's actually snippets for all different types of languages as well. So I've got R and um, We've also got C, C++, Markdown, uh, Text, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, SQL, Java, Python, and Stan, right? So a whole bunch of different programming languages that you can actually uh, insert and use within our studio. So here we can see we've got snippet lib, uh, lib, which will basically populate this for you. So this will automatically type library for you and then put your cursor uh, where the package name is so that you can just type it out really quickly. Um, we'll try that in a sec actually so you can see what that looks like. Now if I scroll down to the bottom here, okay, so this is the snippet that I actually implemented myself. So this is the cool thing. You've got all these built-in snippets and you can also add your own snippets. So if you download a copy of my code or basically write your own uh, version of this, then what you can do is you can copy and paste it in here, make sure that everything is indented uh, long like so. And for the placeholder for uh, that you want to, uh, for the bits that you want to change, you can add a little notation like this. So this is where you enter the data. I'm adding a dollar, uh, open brackets, one colon data. Right. Um, now, because the dollar signs are used to identify placeholders in the text, you do need to add an escape character every time you add a dollar sign there. So um, just something to keep in mind. So normally in the code, you would just have input dollar GB. But because I'm adding this as a snippet, I have to enter input slash, oops, uh, slash dollar and that's basically an escape character okay so we have all that there you can save it now every time you open a new R file um, let me show you some of these other ones like lib you can see here that we have the snippet and we've got like a different little icon there and so when I'm on this and I hit tab, it automatically types this for you. Pretty cool stuff. Nice way of implementing all kinds of different shortcuts. But of course you can have much bigger runs as well. So there's the one I implemented before, tab, and there we go. It has all the code for you right there. Now, <clears throat> I think in another video, I go over a little bit more about like what all these different sections of the, uh, of this code actually are. There's a, quite a few cool things going on in this. So for example, uh, this notation here is using a standard called tidy evaluation. This enables us to make very, very um, dynamic dashboards. So over here we have some things like we have a couple of drop down menus and these are automatically populated by our data. We have our plot, which is um, <clears throat> a pre-built plot for us. Um, again, populated by the options that we select in the drop-down menus. We have a shared data set that feeds both the plot and the table, so other little techniques that you have in there. And we have a customized uh, data table. Now, again, this is a uh, JavaScript um, this is a JavaScript library, which is really, really nice for uh, working with tables data. It has a ton of configurations. Uh, a lot of times, these are the kind of configurations I want to add to it to be able to uh, make it easier to work with, adding all the export buttons, um, all of those kind of things. So 
you know, all of these settings are in this code right here. So if you're interested in downloading a free copy of this code, then click in the link below to get your free copy. If you're already on my Flex Dashboard course, then this will be added as a new additional resource, so you can just go ahead and download it there. If you're not already part of my Flex Dashboard course, and you're interested in a step-by-step -step guide on how to build these things up from scratch, as well as explanations on how each of these different components work in a lot more detail, along with sample code and examples, then please do consider signing up. I'm looking to build out more templates like this as well. So if you have any ideas or um, things that you normally do in dashboards that you'd like to see uh, built out, then please do leave a comment below so I can work, look at uh, making some of those. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.